one. So this one here is going to be the the claret uh, bumble. Now the hook in the vase, like the other two, is a Camazon B175 and size 8. The thread we're going to use is the Uni Thread 80 in black. So we'll just come in and we'll get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. We'll just work on our thread down here now at this point. Just until we're past the, the point of the hook and then remove the, the waist tag. Now, what's different on this one is you're going to use some tippet fibers rather than crest or a, an Indian crow substitute. Now, these ones here have been dyed hot orange. And to get your tippet fibers, just take your, you can see where I've been using it here, just pull your fibers in, the fibers, the feather in between your, your finger and thumb. Then we'll just come in with our scissors. Just I'm not sure trying to see if I can show you. And just you don't need a big bunch of uh, tippet fibers. Then just take away, and they should all be lined up for you. Now the length of this, I want this right about probably just right about the length of the body. Or just slightly less, just come around with a pinch and loop, and then three or four turns, just always heading down the shank of the hook at that point. There'll be ten on one spot, then just come in and tidy that up. Rib, oval gold tinsel, we'll catch that in at this point, and then we'll just work our thread forward, just tan everything in. Now, these three flies that have tied, this is the last, this is a, a clarred bumble. You wouldn't need much more than these three flies, probably in a size 8, a 10 and a 12, for a good day's fishing on an Irish log. These flies have stood the test of time. Now, the body, this is just some of the, the medium claret from the traditional Irish dubbing. So we'll just take a pinch and we'll get it dubbed onto the thread. <laughs> Don't put it on too tight. Get her, get her started onto the the hook or anchored onto the hook as I like to call it. And then you can tighten up as you go. And again, just leave yourself a bit of room at the front here. Stroke goes back. Now, on the Clark Bumble, and like I say, people will tell us it's variations. There's two haggles, a black and a claret. Now, I like my claret haggle to be in front of the black. Same again, just strip away the, the fibres on the stems to give you a tan in point. Offer these up to the hook. Catch them in, trim away the waist ends, if I were here, take that away, and then we'll just polymer these down the body. We've got two turns going at the shoulder, and then we're looking three to four turns down the body. Should be plenty of there. Now, don't let go of your tips, just keep hold of those. Straight round with your oval gold tinsel, and then you're looking four turns of the oval gold tinsel up the body, keeping it tight to sweep everything back. Bring your oval gold tinsel up in front, and follow that around with your thread. A couple of tight turns, trim away the oval gold, trim away your stems at the back. Just come in with the velcro at this point. Just brush any of the fibers back, sweep everything back for your front haggle. Now, at this point, this is where you would, we'll just tidy up here a wee bit. This is where you would put on your, your blue J at the front here. But I just think I showed you in the, the last video.
I've started using these dyed blue. And these are just English partridge, so just stripping away the rubbish from the bottom. Now you'll be lucky to get up two turns out of this, but blue jay is not the it's not the cheapest feather in the world to buy. And you don't get too many of them. When you do buy them, now just catch that in by the tip. We'll break away the tip. Got the old hackle pliers here. So you can see what I'm doing. Uh, if we can get two turns, we'll, we'll take two turns. But see how we're going. Yeah, we'll get another one out of that. So we'll. That's good enough there. Follow this around with our thread. Catch that in. Now, I know these are for a frame, but like I say, it's just my state of time. I'm going to fold the stem back, work on my thread back up. Don't want to go past that point there. Then come back down and back up again. Forget about the stem. Just come straight in, throw in a whip finish. Just building the head up a bit there. Trim away your tan thread. Then we'll come in and bring out the wee stem. Just flip it around this way so we can see what we're doing. Don't want to trim the fibres away, just the stem. We'll take out the stem. Now, there you go. And see when you're tan, don't, don't be worrying. See this white bit here that you're seeing here? There, don't be trying to tie up onto that stem. Just leave it. The fish will not give a flan hoot. It'll be grand. Now, just going to come in and first coat onto the head. We drop a super glue. I think sometimes as fly tires we can just be a wee bit too fussy. But, as I like to say, you're not tan flies for to catch fish, you're tan flies to catch the angler. On most occasions. Now, there you go. So, that's the, the claret bumble. And them three flies are absolutely fantastic. And what I'll do is I'll put the wee frame um, together and I'll come back and uh, show you that at the, at the end of this video. Anyway guys, like as always, I just want to thank you all for your support. Um, your continued support in watching the channel and viewing the videos. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. And until the next one, please enjoy your time, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay guys, so we've got our um, the wee frame, got the flies in, got our wee frame complete from the, the three flies that I showed you are the tied. So this is the, the wee frame here, so you can see we've started off with our, our claret bumble. Um, then we've got the, the golden olive bumble and then the, the fairy brown so you can see now if you put that up put that up on your, your desk just got the wee stand at the back or up on your your wall it's got a couple of or whatever which way you want to put it so and you can knock these up yourselves there's nothing to stop you putting these up yourselves um, and just sort of way framing your framing your work. But look, there you go. So that's the frame. Um, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.